But uh, Ashwin Patel is who's joining us on the phone line now from LKP. Thanks so much uh, for taking time out. And I think, um, you know, the way that uh, the brokerages as well have put it, that there is now a lot more flexibility. You also um, had the chairman and Chandra saying that this is going to unlock value. How are you looking into the demerger of Tata Motors? Definitely, I would say that uh, this demerger was on the card since a long time. I mean, the earlier plan was that, uh, you know, uh, demerging JLR and listing it separately. But now they have uh, smartly uh, clubbed in uh, the passenger vehicle business along with uh, JLR, the domestic uh, one. And uh, that is definitely going to, uh, you know, uh, uh, give them a plethora of, uh, 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 of their businesses combining differently uh, and uh, running on a two-pronged strategy of uh, Tata Motors commercial vehicles and Tata Motors passenger vehicles, which has EVs, PVs domestic, as well as JLR. So uh, that, you know, gives uh, an investor a choice of investing into whichever company he wants, depending on the trends in that underlying sector. Just like, uh, you know, currently we are seeing some sort of uh, pressure in the commercial vehicle industry, uh, while on the other hand, JLR is performing well, so investors can enter into that uh, you know, the, the uh, listed uh, passenger vehicle segment. But, you know, it will take some time, like about 12 to 15 months down the line when exactly the uh, demerger uh, should take into place. So the, the listing will be happening at that time. So the trends which will be lying in, the, in those uh, respective sectors will definitely give investors uh, a chance to enter into whichever business they have. So that is from an investor point of view. But from a company point of view, definitely at this point in time, we are not aware, you know, as in what is the ratio of split between uh, both, both the companies. But we are assuming that it will be like in a 50-50 kind of a ratio of the value. So uh, going forward, uh, you know, the cash utilization will be definitely easier for them. A flexibility in their business will be there. You know, a different kind of focus will be there on different, different businesses. Uh, so that will be, you know, it was earlier like uh, a complete uh, uh, mix up of uh, you know, uh, different, different businesses, like there are different uh, underlying uh, trends in each of the segments. So, you know, it was getting a bit slightly difficult uh, uh, for them as well as for investors to judge that, you know, entire uh, gamut of business. So now it will be easier for them as well as for investors going forward. So, uh, you know, therefore, we think that it is uh, surely a good uh, uh, good move, a fantastic move from company's point of view. Ratio has been announced. One is to one. Hello? Yeah. Uh, Ashwin, I think the ratio has been announced. It's one is to one. Okay. Yeah. But, you know... So, that uh, is fine. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, much along expected lines. But what I wanted to understand was, was said, is yeah. this also sort of going to bridge the gap? Because Maruti right now is the most expensive out of the listed PV players. You've got a Hyundai IPO as well. Uh, we understand in the pipeline at some point in the next two odd years. Um, having said that, Tara Motors, both the CV as well as the PV businesses uh, are trailing behind Maruti. You think now this gives it a fair chance to sort of bridge the gap? the Tata motor stock? Surely. Uh, see, from competition point of view, uh, Tata Motors commercial vehicles will be competing with the pure play Ashok Leyland in the commercial vehicle space. And uh, on the other hand, in the passenger vehicle space, uh, you know, uh, the top four companies will be listed, like in Maruti, Mahindra, Tata Motors, as well as Hyundai. You know, so it will be a four-pronged competition in the passenger vehicle segment. And an investor will be getting a, you know, a, a great uh, option to choose between uh, either of them. So right now where Maruti is the number one player in the passenger vehicle segment and it is trading and at, uh, you know, at maybe like 18, 20 times on FI26 uh, earnings. So Tata Motors passenger vehicles, uh, I think, uh, you know, they can definitely bridge that gap between Maruti and them with uh, the kind of vehicles they are coming in. And the JLR, uh, you know, which is uh, their uh, their trump card on the passenger vehicle side, on the, they have got this global uh, presence through JLR, while Maruti is not having that. Uh, uh, so, you know, uh, wherever the global trends are looking quite positive, they can have a thumbs up uh, 
as uh, you know as compared to maruti they will be having a better uh, 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 i would say a better business uh, value as compared to maruti so uh, i think that competition will definitely now you know it will be fun to look at uh, the, how the passenger vehicle segment is going to uh, look uh, about uh, 12 to 15 months down the line okay um thanks very much then ashwin for joining in and giving us your assessment of the demerger on that note